NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. From our perspective, when you look up at the Milky Way, you see all these stars all over the place. So if you're saying flat, like what, how much height and what, what are you saying? This is fucking scary. We live on a little speck that's like <laughs> turning in one of many galaxies, you know. Voyager 1, having spent 45 years exploring the vast reaches of space, has now uncovered an incredible discovery that surprised even NASA. Recently, Joe Rogan broke the story, stating that Voyager 1 and 2 were originally sent by NASA to study the magnetic fields of Jupiter and Saturn. But Voyager 1 didn't only finish its mission, it also returned evidence of something very different. This may completely alter our understanding of the cosmos. So what did Voyager 1 find out exactly? What impact does this have on how we explore space? Let's investigate. NASA launched Voyager 1 on September 5, 1977, and 45 years later, it is still out there exploring uncharted territory. The spacecraft's original purpose was to investigate the magnetic fields, moons, and atmospheres of the outer planets, primarily Jupiter and Saturn. This was a component of the wider Voyager mission run by NASA, which also featured Voyager 2, its twin. Although Voyager 1's main objective was to complete the mission in a few years, it had other ideas and wanted to stay longer. It is now located in an area of space that we have never directly investigated, more nearly 14 billion miles from Earth. Voyager 1 carried on after finishing its primary mission, arriving at the Heliopause in 2012. What is the heliopause, then? In a nutshell, it's the limit of the sun's effect. Solar wind is a continuous outflow of charged particles from the sun that travels throughout the solar system. However, this solar wind eventually fades and is replaced by interstellar space. That barrier, known as the heliopause, is the point at which the sun's heliosphere, or bubble, terminates. Voyager 1 was the first object created by humans to enter interstellar space when it passed this boundary. Voyager 1 began identifying items that were not strictly related to its mission as it traveled into this unexplored area. It just returned data that casts doubt on the knowledge scientists have previously held about space. NASA reports that Voyager 1 has found a novel type of energy field that defies explanation by any of the current models. This is not your standard gravitational or electromagnetic force, which is supposed to be predominant in interstellar space. No, this is something entirely new, and experts are still unsure on how to interpret it. There is an enigmatic force, or energy field, that interacts with matter in ways not explained by existing theories. Scientists are at a loss for words as a result of this finding. It could alter our perception of the cosmos and its underlying dynamics. Now, why is this finding making such a big difference and why is it happening at such a critical moment? Well, an exciting new era in space exploration is about to begin. Organizations such as NASA and commercial businesses are stepping up their efforts to take humans farther into space with the ultimate goal of setting foot on Mars and beyond. Thus, comprehending interstellar space, the area between stars, becomes more crucial than before. Our first meaningful look at space beyond our solar system is being provided by Voyager 1, and this new finding may hold the key to understanding how we might safely explore these far-off, uncharted areas. The confirmation of this new energy field might have a significant impact on space travel in the future. It could be necessary to reconsider the way we build spacecraft and organize trips to distant star systems. Future explorers could have to travel through areas where forces exist that we don't completely comprehend now. Because of this, the finding of Voyager 1 comes at a crucial time, just as we are getting ready for some of the most ambitious space missions in human history. What in the world is producing this weird behavior that Voyager 1 has detected is now one of the most important questions. Dark matter or another substance, one can speculate that it might be dark energy, the enigmatic component that astronomers believe to be responsible for the universes. Faster than light expansion. There has been much debate among physicists and astronomers for years over dark energy since its nature is still unknown. It's among the greatest riddles that hasn't been solved. Even while dark energy is still primarily the theory, Voyager may first have just discovered some evidence of it in the center of interstellar space. In such case, it would be quite significant. 
That would imply that we have just witnessed the impacts of dark energy directly for the first time in a particular area of space. That would be something, wouldn't it? Finding evidence for something that has baffled experts for decades all of a sudden? It would fundamentally alter our conception of the universe and how it functions. However, it is also possible that it is something entirely else, a force or energy that we haven't even considered yet. This would lead us into new physics terrain. If Voyager 1 has found something completely new, our understanding of the universe's rules might undergo a radical change. Scientists have traditionally depended on models that use forces we already know to explain the behavior of matter and energy, such as electromagnetism and gravity. But such models could require a total revision if Voyager 1's finding confirms the existence of a new force. And it is really significant. Consider how 20th century physics was altered by quantum mechanics. It called into question what we believe to be true about matter and energy. This kind of finding might pave the way for equally significant advancements. And the potential applications of such a finding go beyond space travel. We could create new technologies that would enable us to use and govern energy and space in ways that are currently unimaginable. Yes, there may be practical uses for this that affect life on Earth as well. The possibilities are astounding, whether they pertain to enhanced space travel or new sources of energy. However, what if this strange occurrence isn't even a novel force? Additionally, it's possible that Voyager 1 is picking up signals from other objects, such as a black hole or a far-off star. Perhaps these objects are radiating energy or exerting a gravitational pull that is having unanticipated effects on the surrounding space. Alternatively, Voyager 1 could have discovered proof of an entirely new kind of astronomical object. Anything that does not quite fall into the categories of planets, stars, or black holes as they are now understood. Should that be the case, space exploration may be about to embark on a completely new chapter. Whatever this enigmatic energy or force is, it is certain that the finding of Voyager 1 has sparked a renewed interest in space travel. Even now, some 50 years into its orbit, this tiny spacecraft never ceases to amaze us. Who would have guessed that decades later, something created would still be producing such groundbreaking discoveries? Even though everyone is preoccupied with flashy new spacecraft and missions these days, Voyager 1 is demonstrating that traditional probes may still provide important discoveries. Of course, the scientific community as a whole has been taken aback by this revelation. The fact that Voyager 1 has unlocked an intriguing new field of space physics study cannot be disputed, even though many scientists are remaining cautious and want not to draw hasty conclusions. Currently, scientists from all across the world are analyzing the data to attempt to determine what is actually happening in the world. While some are pushing for follow-up missions to have a closer look at interstellar space, others are already working on new ideas to explain this mystery energy. There is no denying that interest in the Voyager missions has grown again. What was once a mission to study the outer planets has now evolved into something much more significant. In the event that this discovery is verified, what will happen? A completely new era of space exploration may be upon us if Voyager 1's discovery is verified. This could hold the key to comprehending the fundamental forces that hold the cosmos together. We're not just talking about sending spacecraft to planets or the furthest reaches of our solar system. We would have access to new propulsion technologies and energy sources that would enable us to go further and faster than we had previously imagined. Although it sounds like science fiction, this tiny spacecraft that has been operating for more than 40 years may soon make it a reality. The way this discovery advances our understanding of interstellar travel may be one of its most significant game changers. With present technology, reaching the nearest star system would take thousands of years. Who knows, though, if we manage to decipher the code on whatever Voyager 1 has just discovered. Perhaps we will develop technology that significantly reduces that travel time. Not to mention the hope of populating other worlds. What if this finding opens the door to that possibility? Now, in addition to the apparent advances in science and technology, this discovery may alter how we perceive the cosmos. Humans have been trying to figure out our place in the vast cosmic jigsaw for as long as we have been staring up at the stars. The most recent data from Voyager may first be poised to alter that perception in ways that are beyond our comprehension. It could compel us to reevaluate all of our preconceived notions about reality and the rules that govern it. 
Scientists at NASA have already begun to work diligently, examining the information that Voyager 1 returned. Researchers are now being pushed to think outside the box and generate new ideas as a result of this discovery. There's a legitimate basis for the enthusiasm. It is incredible that Voyager is still running strong after all these years, and every bit of data it sends back might help uncover new discoveries. Regarding that, would you mind just taking a minute to recognize how long Voyager 1 has been around? When it was first launched in 1977, nobody could have predicted that it would still be in use today. It was initially intended to be part of a short-lived mission that would have explored our solar system's outer planets. However, even 50 years later, it is still producing findings that have the potential to alter our understanding of the universe. The fact that it remains operational and continues to push the boundaries of human understanding is a compelling case for continuing to fund long-term space missions. Even while the findings might not be felt right away, they could have an influence years down the line. Now, Voyager 1 is much more than just a spaceship. It is currently among the most significant scientific tools that humans have ever created. What's even more startling is that its purpose was not to explore interplanetary space. Its original purpose was to investigate the planets, but now it's leaving the heliosphere and heading into the deep unknown. Even though Voyager 1's technology dates back to the 1970s, it still functions astonishingly well and provides us with a close-up look at parts of space that have never been seen before. Let's now discuss Voyager 1's current location. It's not simply a blank expanse, it's interstellar space. Particles, cosmic rays, and magnetic fields abound in this region, but in far lesser quantities than in our solar system. The possibility that Voyager 1 discovered a whole new type of energy or force while passing through this area adds even more excitement to this finding. It is something that does not fall into any of the known categories, such as electromagnetism or gravity. And that lets a whole other can of worms get opened. What if there are forces in the universe that we still don't fully comprehend? The possibility that this finding will help us comprehend dark energy or dark matter better is one of the most intriguing ones. I know what you're thinking, those ideas have been around for a while and we still don't understand them. But what if we discover a fresh hint from Voyager 1's research? We have never seen dark matter up close, yet it's believed to make up the majority of the universe's mass. The expansion of the cosmos is thought to be caused by dark energy, but again, we don't fully understand what it is. It may be the first significant step toward comprehending these cosmic forces if Voyager 1 has found anything connected to these riddles. Whether this finding is exclusive to the area Voyager 1 is now in or if it is something more widespread is one of the main questions that scientists are currently grappling with. If this is only a limited anomaly, that may indicate that the physical characteristics of various regions of interstellar space differ, which would be revolutionary in and of itself. However, if this event is more common, it may indicate that all of our prior findings have been lacking something important regarding the nature of space. If this new force or energy contributes to the production of celestial objects such as planets, stars, or even black holes, that is another topic worth investigating. What if this force plays a role in the formation of stars in the cold, dark reaches of space by assisting matter? That may fundamentally alter our understanding of the composition of planetary systems and galaxies, including our own. It may even contribute to our understanding of the circumstances required for life to evolve. Thus, Voyager 1 is out there creating history while the rest of us are all preoccupied with the here and now. It is delving into the vast mysteries of the cosmos. Each communication it receives back might lead to a significant discovery. There has never been a more thrilling prospect for space exploration. What does it seem like today, then? The prospects for space travel? Future of space exploration, the remarkable trip of Voyager 1 truly puts the size of the cosmos into perspective. Is that even possible to imagine? Even at the speed of light, it takes about 21 hours for a signal from Voyager 1 to arrive on Earth. This delay serves as a stark reminder of the enormous obstacles humanity must overcome before we can venture beyond our solar system. Better communication and transportation technologies will be required if mankind is to send people or probes to far-off star systems in the future. Apart from that, scientists are re-evaluating our knowledge of space conditions, or space weather, in light of Voyager 1's recent discovery of a new force in interstellar space. 
We know a fair amount about space weather inside the heliosphere, but outside of it. Not in that way. We are discussing electromagnetic radiation, solar wind, cosmic rays, and who knows what else. We must understand how these pressures interact with spacecraft and even human beings if we are to keep future astronauts safe and successful on extended journeys. Additionally, this finding gives the hunt for alien life a fresh direction. Could life have evolved on other worlds as a result of these unidentified forces? Perhaps entire ecosystems exist that depend on factors we have yet to fully comprehend, just way life on Earth depends on sunshine and the magnetic field. It's an incredible idea. Let us not overlook the remarkable fact that Voyager 1 continues to function after 47 years of operation. It has continued to transmit us data because it is powered by a thermoelectric generator made of radioisotopes. Voyager 1 continues to provide us with a view into the farthest regions of space even as its power diminishes. What plans does NASA now have for the future? Will space exploration always be reliant on Voyager 1 and 2? The upcoming major interstellar missions are already on the minds of NASA and other space organizations. The intention is to launch far more sophisticated spacecraft than anything we have ever seen. With far more accuracy, these new probes would be able to measure all the odd forces and energy that exist in space. They will, in essence, expand upon the lessons learned by Voyager 1 and venture even farther into uncharted territory. The next generation of space explorers may be able to go deeper and endure longer than ever thanks to the lessons we gained from Voyager. The possibility that this discovery has something to do with quantum physics is among the most intriguing theories that have been proposed. This branch of research studies the universe's smallest particles. There are scientists who believe that the force that Voyager 1 detected might have something to do with massively parallel quantum processes. If this new force is connected to the strangeness of the cosmos, which quantum mechanics previously hinted to, we may be stepping into a completely new realm of knowledge. What's insane is that for years scientists have been attempting to make a connection between two fundamental concepts, quantum physics, which describes the behavior of microscopic particles, and general relativity, which describes the behavior of large objects like planets and stars. The two hypotheses are not very compatible. However, what if this new energy is what connects them? That would be really significant. It may result in a theory that can account for everything, even the largest galaxies and tiniest particles. The stunning finding of Voyager 1 is forcing us to reconsider our views of the cosmos and ourselves. This finding forces us to reconsider our assumptions and motivates us to continue researching. Even though Voyager 1 is far from home, it is demonstrating to us that the voyage has only just begun. What do you believe the unexplained forces discovered by Voyager 1 to be? Post your ideas in the comments section below. Please subscribe to the channel if you would want to hear more surprising stories. We have a ton of them. I appreciate you seeing.